get almost acoustic y sounds. You know? you know, a little kind of acoustic y that sounds? Yeah. <laughs> Johnny Highland today. Howdy, uh, howdy. Johnny came in to, to uh, check out some guitars, brought his buddy Kyle in, and uh, they're doing uh, some amp shopping for Kyle today. But uh, we're Johnny, we're going to play a game. Uh, oh, are we now? We're going to play, uh, and, and uh, since I have no timekeeping device, we're going to, I'm going to hit you with, with uh, 20 questions or not. Oh, wow. Okay. It, it might be, I don't know, it might be like 17, because I'm not good at 17 good. It's good number. But anyway, so so here's how the game works. I, I throw something at you randomly, and, mm -hmm. and I get your take on it. All right. So uh, question number one, and I'm just going to throw the, 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 the thing out there, and you just respond. Uh, so number one uh, will be Danny Gatton. Oh, my goodness, man. Well, Danny's, Danny's my ultimate guitar hero, man. I mean, he was probably, to me, the most versatile guitar player that ever lived. And a uh, monster Telecaster player, and uh, you know, actually, Danny was an old car collector. And what was cool about Danny is he thought Fenders, you know, went on cars. And at first, he played Gibsons, and that was his line. He's like, "Oh man, how oh, Fenders are made for cars." But when he went to play Telecaster, man, I mean, it was uh, it was amazing, man, because he still sounded like Danny Gatton, but he still had, you know, he had the telly tone then. And of course, worked with Joe Barton to make some cool pickups. And uh, Joe Barton, yeah, man, yeah. and just what an awesome story, man, and such a great, such a great guy to look up to, man. Danny was uh, just amazing, man. So yeah, Danny Gatton definitely. If you had to put a, a finger on my biggest hero, it would definitely be him. Steve Vai. Gave me my first record deal, man. Steve Vai and I are. Uh, he's a dear friend to me, and we don't get to see each other all that often. But Steve really gave me a, a start in my career as far as my first record deal is concerned and it was really amazing to be with Favored Nations to you know back in 04 to get started as a as a guitar artist so thanks a lot Steve I love you brother uh, let's see uh, the new record new records called standing strong hopefully it'll be out in March that's what we're planning and uh, working at MPAC studio here in Nashville with uh, engineer Dallin Beck who is just awesome man I'm having a great time um, Kind of, uh, you know, I, when I did All Fired Up on Shrapnel Records in 2011, I did a lot of chicken pig and stuff on that album, you know, instrumentally and whatnot. So this album I'm singing more. So I've sang on seven songs and uh, have four instrumentals. And uh, it's kind of all over the map. It's everything from rock to blues to southern rock to chicken picking to you name it, buddy. And it's, uh, you know, it's kind of like the old country song. I'm giving all of me. Why not take all of me? So the uh, on the record, uh, for the most part in the recording process, what's what's your rig looking like in the studio? Actually, man, I took in a uh, a Reeve Space Cowboy hundred watt, and I used an Avatar two twelve cabinet, which Avatar makes a Johnny Highland cab that's a four twelve, which is great. Um, and I also took in a nineteen seventy four Music Man RD one twelve, uh, which played a lot of the chicken picking stuff, man, which. To me, as you can see from my hat, Music Man guitars rule. I actually endorse Music Man, and which, by the way, you're bringing into Franklin Guitar and Repair, which is just great, awesome. Great segue into that. Oh, M buddy. Music Man guitars are coming yes. to Franklin Guitar and Repair, and we're excited about that. Well, that's one of the reasons that I'm here with Brother Pat, because I'm so excited that he is going to be one of the leading Music Man dealers here in uh, Tennessee. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really excited about it, and uh, we're going to be doing some stuff with Johnny uh, along the way. We're working out uh, all the details on that stuff right now, but he is graciously, my Christian brother here, yes, sir. has has graciously uh, you know, communicated and reached out, and, and I'm just incredibly blessed uh, to be able to do that. So, uh, folks, Music Man Guitars, uh, we're expecting the first uh, batch to be coming in probably the first part of next week. And uh, we've uh, been in close communication with Ernie Ball, folks over there, and so it's going to be. I'm so excited, man! Yeah, so it's going to be a, a good deal, and uh, we've got some cool things coming to Franklin Guitar. Uh, just briefly, we've got our 40% off sale Saturday uh, for one day only. We're going to blow out some guitars to make room for some of these new arrivals that are coming, and uh, we're going to be picking up Supro amps, uh, and we're excited about that. Uh, Ibanez is coming to town. Wow. Uh, for Franklin Guitar and Repair, and as always, we're going to continue doing the repair service and uh, 
Uh, we, we are so blessed and thankful that you guys trust us with your uh, instruments and uh, going to be doing that. And well, you know, Pat, people are probably wondering why I'm holding this SG. <laughs> because you know, it's cool. Well, it's, it's a great guitar, and yes, yeah, so I want to buy it. I love it. Um, yeah. And it's a great studio guitar, which most people know. I have Tellys and Strats and Les Pauls, and I don't own an SG, which this one's just great. Mm. But that's why I'm wearing a Music Man hat and holding an SG, guys, because we're waiting on the shipment here. But it just it just goes to show though that, and one of the reasons Franklin Guitar Repair is one of my favorite shops in town is you never know what you're going to find in here. I, I didn't expect to find this gem today, and if I if I had the wallet and the wife didn't, I'd be owning this guitar today. But well, you know, and Johnny uh, Johnny is a, is a music man guy and oh, he totally. loves music man guitars. But the thing that is so cool, and and we're all in this uh, realm, I think, is we we love guitars. We do. And uh, and if guitars, you know, if they speak to us, I mean, there's there's always the iconic ones, which kind of you made me think of that when you were talking about the SG there. But uh, so to to get back to the game real quick, uh, Les Paul. Oh man, well Les is the whole reason, man, that I had such a unique relationship with Les because we didn't know each other that long, just for a couple of years. But he kind of became like a like my grandfather in a way because we we talk and tell me a dirty joke kid you know or we had that relationship and it was so such an amazing uh honor to you know to have Les Paul call you every once in a while and just find out how you're doing and but he always used to kid me every time you know my first manager Mac Wilson and I would go to the Iridium Jazz Club first time I took a telly second time I took a, a PRS and of course then later on went to Music Man but it's funny, Les kept saying, kid, you keep bringing the wrong guitars in here. And so he'd get me laughing, and I really, I went out and actually picked up my first Les Paul and was really intending for Les to sign it. But of course he passed away and uh, we lost a, an icon. And uh, just love Les Paul. And so, yes, I do have an affinity for, for beautiful Gibson guitars when I find them, especially I love them in the studio and, and uh, you know, just love the, uh, the iconic value of what makes up a Gibson, you know, and that's, I think that's the beauty about loving guitars in general, Pat, is an SG does not feel like a music man. That's right. Uh, a music man doesn't feel like a Fender, yeah. although there's there's common common ground there, you know, because Leo obviously worked with Ernie Ball uh, back in the in the early days. But but I think every guitar has its own characteristics and its own its own vibe. I love this guitar because it's got a vibe to it. Well, you know, well, on it for us a little bit. Well, it's I, man, when I pick up an SG, especially one that I like, I like playing kind of jazzy stuff on it, you know. Just what a what a beautiful, just fat, round sound, you know. So yeah, Pat, I don't know, but this one might have to go home and if I can get a hold of the wife. I'll tell you what, there there are so many cool things going on. Uh, Johnny's got a new record in the works, as he as he spoke about, and uh, and I have an autobiography it. coming out too. And, I've actually and read a book. True Fire, tell them about that. Yeah, I've got two videos out with True Fire now that are just awesome, man. I've been doing a ten gallon guitar course with them um, that I'm going to try to get in Pat's store because uh, you know I want people to be able to come find them outside of coming to my house. But uh, you know, and you can also go to TrueFire.com and pick them up as well. But Really, really blessed to be a guitar teacher in Nashville, man, and uh, I needed a place where I could turn students on to cool guitars that wouldn't break the bank and you could come in and feel at home like I do here at Franklin Guitar Repair. And you see none of the guitars are hung too high where you can't grab onto one and sit down and uh, have a love affair with it like I've been doing with SF, this SG. We encourage you to come and, uh, in and play them. They're that's here. the thing, man. Franklin Guitar Repair is, is a, it's a place you can come really enjoy instruments. And, uh, you know, Pat and I are great friends. We've known each other a while. We're both, you know, old Christian hillbillies. That's Amen. what we are, you know, Amen. and proud to be. But, I mean, yeah, we have a, an affinity for all guitars. And I must say, man, Music Man has sure blessed me through the years. I'm real proud to be, be with Derek and Sterling and all the folks at Music Man. And really excited for you to be bringing those guitars in here, bud. I'm excited. So, so Kyle, come on, slide on over here. Let's, let's yeah, bring Brother Kyle in here. Let's introduce, uh, this, this is, the, now, Kyle started out, uh, as, so dancing. <laughs> Kyle started out as being, uh, he came to you as a student, correct? Well, that's how I met him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and, and I, I've been listening to Kyle this morning. Uh, He's a great little player, bit. man. 
And Kyle, what's happening in your world? You're playing a lot downtown? Yeah, just working downtown, hustling around, banging around Nashville, trying to get work. And, um, it's yeah, a labor of love, enjoying, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just enjoying my time here and learning from great players like Johnny. And Well, uh, from what I was hearing, uh, it's rubbing off on you big time. <laughs> oh, he's, yeah, yeah, he's sounding incredibly good. So I'm not sure where I'm at in the whole question game thing, so I'll, I'll we'll, we'll just stop it there. Um, but Well, I'll just end by saying this. Pat's such a humble man and a good Christian man, and he's not going to brag on himself, so I will. You all need to come down to Franklin Guitar Repair. Come in here, enjoy yourself, pick up guitars, play them. There's everything from strings to V-picks. I love Vinnie Smith and V-picks. You can get long hollow leather straps here. You can get Levy's leathers, Franklin guitar straps are here. There's, man, there's uh, little gig cases. There's anything you could possibly need to have, a, you know, to go play a gig or to have fun with guitar in general. You need to come to Franklin Guitar Repair, sit down, have a blast, and tell Pat that Johnny Highland said you. I'm sure he'll be tickled to hear that. So God bless you all. Thank you for watching this video. And God love Pat and everybody here at Franklin Guitar Repair. Brother Johnny, thanks for coming in today. It's a and pleasure, we'll man. We'll be doing some things further on up the road. You guys uh, stay tuned. Thank you for your business. Uh, God bless you, and we'll talk to you soon. Cheers.